Rachel's came to visit. Hi. <laughs> We're keeping our six social feet. distance, six feet. Six feet. <laughs> and Bonnie's out here with us, but she doesn't seem too happy. Come here. What? Oh, you just want to be petted all the time, huh? Any second that's not spent petting you is a second that's wasted, huh? Such a good dancer. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Yeah, I like that bit. <laughs> ten out of ten. He's gonna put a heater inside the boat so that uh, the what is it that's? First, I'm gonna clear off that shelf. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, he runs a tight ship out here, you know. A place for everything and everything in its place. He's going to put a heater in the boat and then close up the boat so that the um, stain can polyurethane. set. Polyurethane can set. See, I know. I totally know what I'm talking about. I totally know as much about boats as he does. All the, totally, all the way. Here he goes. I have the camera. And dad is way over there. And Bonnie's there. Come here, Bonnie. I've been brushing her, and she's losing her winter coat, and uh, it's intense. It's gross. Look at that. Look at that concentration. Look at that. Sealing that window like a pro. I don't know how to zoom in on this, so I can't give you like a better angle. <laughs> so I got to stay six feet away, but uh, he's he looks very intense. He's focusing quite a bit. It's very, very delicate work. Ooh. It's like golf. It's like I gotta talk quiet so he can like do what he's gonna do. Oh, look at that form. So smooth. Ooh. Look at the, oh, look at the curling technique going around. But that's, that's just a lovely technique there, Cotton. You don't see that kind of skill every day in the, in the window ceiling game. Oh, and that was a beautiful show. Oh, I think the judges are gonna like that one. <laughs> You're weirder than me by a factor of three, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Left to do on this thing? Well, this wood here did not hold up very good at all. So I'm going to probably take this gabbit wood off again and I'm going to buy actual marine varnish. Mm hmm. And varnish those. Then I'm going to put a layer of the plywood down in the beaver on the bed, just like I did on the side bench. And then up here, right here next to the mast. Yep, there is a crack there that I fixed before, but it didn't stay fixed. I think I found on it instead of fiberglass, so I'm going to fix that and reseal all these, because somewhere I'm getting water in. Then this chunk here is really springy. 
so it's tough to walk on. So I'm going to try to get inside and glue plywood to the bottom. See if I can tighten that up then. This thing's ready to be stood back up. <clears throat> okay, well, I've just come up in here to check on the progress of the varnish or the polyurethane. So let's see if we can see how this looks so far. Ooh, shiny. It does not look too bad. However, it has been hasn't been very warm and so it didn't really cure the way I expected it to. I thought I'd be putting another coat on today. But as it turns out, I've had to put this little heater in here to try to warm it up a little bit. So it's feeling a little tacky. Feeling much better now. So I think we're making progress, but I'm gonna let this dry a little bit longer. And then we'll see about doing another coat. But I think that is looking not so bad, huh? Oh now, isn't that interesting too? Look at that. So we are definitely getting water right down that chain plate, it looks to me like. See that? I wasn't there the other day. So there's the other doors. At least I was smart enough not to glue them in place by leaving them in their hole. You can see a little shine on there. It's looking pretty good. So I'm not going to start sanding that yet and around these windows till the polyurethane gets all finished up because I don't want to mess with it. Get dust in it. But I am going to go get a container and clean this mess out of here so I got more room to work. Start to empty out the bed up there so I can work in there. So that's where we're at. It's Sunday, so not going to get much more done this weekend, but I think we're doing pretty well. Look at this beautiful little lady working hard. I can't get it to focus on her. It's all covered in pollen. That's what's on her back legs. Uh, she's very small. It's spring, though. It's starting to be bee season. Let's move you somewhere better, huh, hun? Oh, yeah. Let's find somewhere to put you. Oh, it's beautiful. So much pollen. Hmm. How about near the daffodils? That sounds nice. Huh? Okay, so we made it through the weekend and it's Monday. The mailman has brought me what I've been waiting for. So let's just see if we can't open this up. This is my tape that I've been waiting for to get me around the windows, seal everything up. Bed it tape. Above the waterline use only. So this was supposed to be the good stuff, according to these guys on their website. And of course, if it's on the internet, it's gotta be true, right? So there we have it. That's the stuff that I've been waiting for to go around the windows and all those various places where water's getting in. So cool. Anyway, uh, that's it for this week. We're going to get this episode rolling. Thanks for watching, and um, see you next go-around.